Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Scarface Nico, I, and I am running the Flintstones, the rescue of Dino and Hoppy for uh, for NES Day today. Um, yeah, the best out of the two Flintstones game on the NES, I think. I don't know, maybe. I like this one. I hope you'll like it too. Uh, so yeah, we're just uh, gonna go through eight levels and uh, rescue some Dino and Hoppies. Yeah, we have a little cutscene here, and I'll uh, I'll count down for when Dave can start the timer. So, three, two, one, go. There we go. First level. Start off uh, with some enemies we have to kill. Not really much here. You have to watch out that you don't drop any of those bones. That's why we uh, run there. Because if you do, you spawn another enemy. And I'm very good at talking and playing at the same time. So, um, yeah, one thing you, uh, one thing in this game, like the movement, uh, you never want to just, uh, be on the ground when you, uh, when you attack. So, every time I attack, you see me jump as well. Because it's, and it's like the same in, uh, in other games. Like, where you attack, you just stop. So, that's why you see me jumping every time I attack. Yeah, and uh, just gonna grab some health for safety. I hope I don't need it. Go for the boss. Ah, I almost got the quick kill. I was one hit away. So basically the quick kill, we'll uh, use it later in the run as well. Um, it basically boils down to, like, the f you charge the first hit, and then for the all the hits afterwards, you want to basically hit B on the first possible frame. You can buffer the input, so it's it's, it's not really frame perfect, but uh, yeah, it's kind of jank. But uh, yeah, that's a, that's a quick kill in this game. Let's see, so there are enemies here that work on global timers like that one. And I do have a spreadsheet, so I know exactly, based on when I finish level one, what's gonna happen. So, uh, this guy will shoot at an awkward time, the next one. So, I had to grab the ledge, make sure I didn't hit him. So, basically, there are those two guys that shoot. You have to, uh, make sure you know what's gonna happen and then act accordingly. And here we have our one and only auto-scroller of the run. It's pretty early, so... Fine, there's only one, so that's good. Um, good thing about this auto scroller is it has literally every power up and weapon you can find in the game. So we'll get the extra hearts, um, the bigger power bar, and and the three weapons: the throwing axe, the slingshot, and the egg bomb. Well, we get everything here. Very. All very conveniently placed in one auto scroller. Uh, the only downside is, well, I guess it's. Uh, I, I wouldn't say the downside is if you die, you lose everything. But uh, dying is always bad in a game, unless there's a death warp. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> if you die, you lose everything. And unfortunately, there's no second time you get everything in such an easy way. So if you die anywhere, in like a no reset setting, like this, you have to just kind of figure out where everything is and then grab it and go slow and, uh, yeah. So let's, uh, let's try not to die. This guy's on the global timer as well, when he jumps. And we actually had a good pattern this time. Sometimes he can jump immediately, which is awkward, and sometimes he waits really long. Well, it feels really long, but he waits like two seconds. <clears throat> But that feels like an eternity in the speedrun. Pinnacle of our generation, Flintstones and spreadsheets. Yes, any game, literally any game, is better when you have spreadsheets. So here he plays an egg to kill that guy. These guys are on global timers as well, but they're not really an issue. We just deal with them before we... Basically, they die as soon as they get on screen. 
And if they actually do go a, uh, what am I doing? Okay, you're supposed to go up those houses and skip that. <laughs> oh, what was that jump? <laughs> okay. I, I've never seen that before. <laughs> you're supposed to skip that little, um, dialogue by going up the houses. And I just completely forgot. So, <laughs> yeah. Bonus, bonus content. So yeah, um, now we just slide underneath these spikes. There's another guy on the global timer here, and this time you do have to be lucky, and we did. You can sometimes shoot as soon as you get there, or like as soon as you climb up. Ooh, okay, we got the quick kill for that one. This is, I think, one of the more awkward ones, because you have to be moving. Same time. And with you're dealing with ice physics, and having a certain speed so you don't go too fast. And trying to get the quick kill, but uh, yeah, easy. <clears throat> trying to read chats, but it's always hard. Here we go, jungle. Uh, yeah, not much to say about this level. This is a pretty straightforward level, just platforming. There's nothing really new in this level either. You have stairs. There's a little bit of waiting in this level though. Two places where, where you have to wait. There's a, uh, a dialogue coming up with Barney that you can't skip, but we can jump as far to the right as possible. <clears throat> so that he goes off screen sooner. And then we uh, just make that snake go away. So yeah, I have to wait for this one as well. Go uh, next to kill that guy. So uh, yeah, the coins, all the enemies drop coins and the coins are used as ammo for your weapons. Okay, we made it. Good jump, so we can make this. Oh no, we, what? How did I miss this? Oh my goodness. Well, oh Jesus. No. Oh God. Okay. What? No. Go. Um, yeah, that's not supposed to happen. What the hell? Did I jump too late or something? This will make things awkward. Let's see. One, two, three, smash. One, two, three, smash. Yeah, he needs one more fuck. So I've lost a little bit of power, uh, a heart, and I've lost all my weapons. So I need to find them, find all of them in the next couple levels. And uh, <clears throat> that will make things a little bit awkward. Yeah, that, that, that was a very, uh, very unexpected death. So... Yeah, the alien is... Um, Okay, wait, so here we have basketball, but the alien, so what we're doing, uh, at the end of every level, we get a time machine part, and then the alien is slowly assembling the time machine after every level, and eventually, you have the time machine complete, then you go to the future, because uh, the boss, the final boss in this game, has kidnapped Dino and Hoppy and taken them to the future. <laughs> so, that's what we're doing. I have never really played- I've played the first two levels of Dinosaur Peak, the second Flintstones game on the NES. But it's uh... I don't- I don't really know much about this. About the- uh, about the second one. I only know this one. So unfortunately this- or maybe fortunately... This um... basketball game is unskippable. And uh, so we just wait in this corner until the, the time runs out. Just go away. You can get rewards from winning these, but the rewards are not worth the time you lose. So let's do everything slightly different since we've lost all our weapons. Okay, here's a. Uh... Wow. Here's a frame perfect jump coming up. 
Yeah, we didn't get it. <clears throat> didn't get it again. There we go. That's it. You can go all the way around, but it loses 10 seconds. Okay, let's see. I forgot where all the items are, so I just... Okay, I got two things that are useful. Uh, yeah, we don't need to go into into that door. There's another one up there, but we don't need that. So here you just have some... A little, like, vertical. Oh. This is not going well. We have a vertical auto-scroller with lava. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you don't want to get hit by it. Uh, this is much better. So now this... Let's see, just do... That's... Go away. Mario Maker section, yeah. <clears throat> so, we'll go this... Normally, you immediately go down here, but we'll go this way to get a... Thing over here. Uh... There we go. Get an egg. And here is a slingshot. So we have some of our weapons back. And we just uh, take it slow to get some coins. So I don't think we... Well, yeah, we do need the slingshot, actually. But well, uh... I know we have this. I need... I mean, the... Uh, we, well... Go left. We need the axe. Don't have that one yet. Okay, we have burger. That's important. I'll just continue. A lot of fights rely on you having a full power bar, so if you lose that, it makes a lot of boss fights uh, a lot harder. I only missed the bat, but it's fine. <laughs> There's enough time between the... Oh, God. I missed! I was too far away. How am I making these mistakes? Okay, here we go. We're having a great time. <clears throat> Reggie really stop messing with the elements of the world. <laughs> yeah. I mean, talking about water, where you got water here. Lots of water. So the physics in this level are different, like always in water levels. The thing is, you have way higher jumps. Your movement speed is the same, so... It's actually kind of better. Why isn't he dead? Uh... Caveman used to be able to walk and live underwater. It's uh, a thing scientists won't tell you, but... It's true. Here we go. Use an egg to kill that thing. And that's it, the water level. It's not a very long level. It's, uh, there are a couple of places where it's very easy to die. Which is the, on the only downside, I guess. So, I wanted the throwing axe here. And that's, it's, it's... I know my axe is over here somewhere. I think it's over here. Is it this one? Yes. And... Usually you want to go fast, because otherwise you spawn this guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, great. Uh, we'll just kill everything we see. We don't have to slow down. This is why we needed a throwing axe. Kill those uh, things quickly. You can also uh, just use a regular attack, but that makes it a little harder to, uh, to hit them. Without getting hit yourself. And that last jump is also quite important, because otherwise you'll spawn another enemy here, which you also don't want. So, there's like a couple places here where if you make mistakes, you'll end up spawning another enemy in a very awkward spot. 
So yeah, we place an egg to bomb this guy out of existence and then we steal his cart. Great, great times back in the Stone Age. They had boats as well. Wait, I want this. Okay. Let's see if we can get the quick kill here. Oh, that's a definite no. Now we just, now we just spam B. I pray he dies. Okay, good. He did, he's dead. So I messed up the very. F I I pressed B too early on that uh, on the second hit. So. Instead of, like, doing something, I just stood there and, um, yeah, looked the boss in the eyes. And now we go to the future. And the future will probably be very, uh, what's the word? I don't know. Familiar is the word. Familiar. The future the future will probably be very familiar for a lot of people. You can already hear it based on the soundtrack. Oh, why do I always mash start? We're in the, we're, uh, in the Jetsons timeline. So here we just skip the whole level by just going left. And then going up. And you mash A and you continue. That's it. We've uh, we've skipped the whole level. Now we just get to the boss fight. The final boss. He has three phases. First we uh, wrap around the screen. We kill him very fast. And we smash him a couple times until he's dead. Okay, this is very bad. Okay, he's finally dead. But then he is in a, in a massive tank. But, uh, yeah. Case of emergency, break glass. That's it. <laughs> That's the run. Uh, not a bad... Not a bad time. I mean, it's overestimate. <laughs> I thought it was going to be... Uh, below 16 minutes. Uh, my two practice runs before this were both like 14 minutes and 50 seconds, but, uh... Yeah, you never know. Sometimes you just die. Everywhere. Happens. <laughs> yeah, there were a few crossover episodes with uh, Flintstones and the uh, Jetsons, and I believe they're also made by the same person, so uh, it makes sense. <clears throat> oh yeah, 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 I see, I see uh, a message. Did the castle first, so you have to re redo the water twice. Yeah, if you if you skip any of the levels, like if you skip the ice level and you go to the end, you have to go you have to go back through the water. So you go to the um, to the Asia level, Japan Rock, it's called in this game. And you still have to do one more. You have to go back through the water, which is uh, so you just have to do the same level but backwards, which is weird. <laughs> so never do the castle. Never do the or le never do the water level before you've uh, you finished the other levels on the mainland, I guess. Yeah, thanks for the GGs, everyone. The yeah, I think the next one is uh, what is it? Star Tropics. Ooh. That one's going to be a lot longer than this one. I hope it goes better. <laughs> what is Fred's body count? I don't know. <laughs> you should ask him. You should ask him. Uh, yeah. Thanks, uh, Dave for hosting this. I will be back with more stuff. More runs for this actually tomorrow. And I'm also doing comms later today for ba the Bagler 5's Godzilla run. So you'll see more of me. I'm, I'm, I'm here for four things. Because Dave likes me so much. Yeah, I think that's it for me uh, for now. So. Goodbye forever.